and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Esper flyers. We have a donation deck to start off our 12 hour stream today. We're having a Sunday fun day stream. We got all decks that are a little different ones that we haven't either haven't really played very much um, here in the channel, like maybe we've played it once before or brand new decks for us here. Um, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. As you see, like we got these seven decks planned for our 12 hour stream. You know, we'll see if uh, if we need an eighth deck or not, we'll we'll add it, but got some good ones for today. You know, starting with this Esper Flyers deck. So the goal of our deck is to win in the air with all these different flyers. You know, we got an angel package with resplendent, Shalai, Seraph, Lyra. You know, like we got we have like some some good angels. Uh, Resplendent works really well in this deck from either like Bishop of Wings allowing you to gain some life when you play Angels. We have Soren that gives your creatures lifelink. We have Gideon that gives your creatures lifelink. So we have some different ways to uh, give our creatures a lifelink to help trigger the Resplendent Angel. Also, whenever we're gaining life, we have the Aerialist that can start getting bigger. You know, starting out as a 2 3 isn't, isn't so special, but a 3 mana 3 4 flying is pretty good. You know, like that's like Feather. Uh, that's, so that's all we have to do is gain life once. Once you gain life a second time, you have a three mana four five flyer, and that is really good rate. And you know, it can just increase from there. Since we got all these flyers, we got the Imperial Eagles, give our our creatures a flying plus one plus one also. And then we have some some good interaction with some Disparks and Tyrant Scorns for some removal spells. Thought Erasure is just an awesome card, right? So like this is just a great card to kick off any deck. And then we have the Rally of Wings, which was a is a trick that blew me out a couple of times whenever we were playing against a flyer deck a couple days ago. Um, yeah, this could this could uh, you know just help help us attack with, like with these flyers and then play some defense. Um, could help pump our creatures up to be like one, even one creature to be five you know like Resplendent Angel. You can make it a five five to gain five to make a new one. You, you can just do a lot of little things with this card. So this one looks like a pretty interesting deck here. Bishop of Wings, of course, holding down the ground with a 1-4 body, doing a lot of blocking for us. This looks pretty sweet. All right, so let's give it a try. Our sideboard is just filled with good interaction, too. All right, so let's give it this a try. All right, so what we're going to be doing today with all these decks, we're going to be just chilling in the traditional constructed queues. We're going to try to build up our gold reservoir uh, back up. So we're paying a thousand gold, entering these events, and let's start it off with Esper Flyers. Play till we either win five or lose two. Hopefully, win five. There you go, Banksy. Yeah, Azorius Legends should be fun. I'm taking the mono blue legends that we played the other day that didn't quite work. It was close, but didn't quite work. Didn't have good enough interactions. We're adding white, getting into fairies and sweepers and stuff like that. Hmm. Not sure if I should be mulliganing this, going down to five. I mean, we have three cards that may not be castable. Let's, let's give it a try. We'll get rid of all of these things. Team or Elementals, you just added Vine Mares to beef up the mid game. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Vine Mares are awesome against, uh, specifically against uh, decks that are trying to interact with you. They are really good there. All right. Looks like we're playing against Simic Flash. Hey, fresh pot of coffee. Happy Sunday, fun day to you as well. I have not brewed any Kethis decks yet, no. Um, ooh, maybe, okay, maybe this is just, maybe this is just Nexus that had Syncopate. That's definitely a card that I'm going to brew around eventually. At first, though, I had to use like so many Mythic Wild cards on all the Cavaliers and stuff. I was out of Mythics. So I couldn't. So, like, making a, a Kethis deck has kind of been on hold. All right, so now we're now we're Teamer. 
with some other stuff. I march into battle as your champion of justice shared in my light. No one asked for your input. Hey, Lee Naskin. <laughs> Leonidas skin. Gosh, I, I tried saying that way too fast. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, yeah, we're kicking off our stream a few hours early today because of the 12 hour. All right, hopefully we draw a land and we can play Imperion, Angel, and Tyrant Scorn. The past is never forgotten. Bring it on. I'm definitely killing that thing. Your light will cleave the darkness. All right, Nissa's out of here. I am not quite me. indestructible. Next turn, we can play Resplendent Angel and have Gideon give something lifelink. You can give like the Imperion Angel lifelink, and that'll gain us enough life to get another angel. Kitty Dexterity. With the tier two sub, you are amazing. Thank you so much. Happy 12 hour stream day. Okay. So you kill there, you kill there. I go lifelink, gain I that life. So you kill that thing, you kill that thing. Do I want to attack with the bishop? I think so. Yeah, we can attack with the bishop. We don't need to sit back and try to block for Anissa, considering we're going to be, we're going to have like this other 5 5 here also. Yeah, so this is a teamer reclamation deck with Nexus, or four color. So we have white and red mana. Oh, I don't, oh yeah, you, you did it a couple days ago and it, and it showed up again. Um, I don't know, that's just kind of something that happens, honestly. I'm not sure exactly why it pops up multiple times, but, oh well. Still counting you towards the sub goal because you sent a notification. This is 11, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Well, let's just double check. 11, 15, 18, 19. Good. Yeah, we gained a lot of life last turn because... Bishop of Wings, whenever an angel enters the battlefield, we gain four life. So we played Resplendent Angel and gained four life. And then we gave the Imperion Angel lifelink, so we gained two life from the eagle attacking. So that was six life. And then at end step, since we gained six life, that's more than five. So we put an angel into play. And whenever an angel comes into play, we gain four life. So we gained another four life for that other angel coming into play. So that's what happened there. All right, uh, Noxious Grasps, Elder Spells, those look pretty good. I like me some Dovin's Vetoes and Unmoored Egos. Yeah, it looks like we have a pretty good sideboard for this matchup. We'll cut the Scorns. Um, cut the Rally of Wings. We're going to cut the Sorens.
I'm not sure if, like, maybe we don't need Bishop of Wings. And you know, maybe we don't need, like, the 1 4 of the blocks. Yeah, we probably do not need Bishop of Wings. Maybe I want Soren. Like, would I rather have Soren than some of these other things? Hmm. Get rid of a Seraph. And we want to have as fast of clock as we can. They don't really kill our things, which is why the minus X of Soren isn't really that valuable. All right, let's try this. All this hand is missing is one of our two mana interaction spells. But, like, I don't really have threats to play on turn two anyway. You know, our best draw would be, like, Thought Erasure, for example. Or, or Duress. Thought Erasure or Duress. That is not one of our best draws. So the big question is if I want to lead with Unmordigo on turn three or just lead with Resplendent Angel. I think I'd lead with Resplendent Angel. I think if we're if we're gonna ego Nexus, we don't need to do it immediately. Ugh. Well, we were definitely hoping that one of our first two draw steps was something that cost one or two. Not quite. So I was ready to just ego away Nissa. But the fact that they minus the Tamiyo means that I don't want to ego this turn because then they'll counter whatever threat I play next turn. So I need to get a threat in play, which means July is our best option. I think you will find Shalai can kill a Tamiyo after it ticks up. This is the only win con that we've seen so far. It's possible that Nissa's their only win con. Just don't know yet. Hey, what's up, babe? Sunday, Sunday. Fun day. Don't have any Sundays to have on this Sunday fun day. Don't have any ice cream. too far far behind on the battlefield already. I just can't play on where do you go. Next turn we can double spell with it. Yeah, I played the Orzhov Vampire list yesterday. Uh, we didn't do real great, but I like the list. Like, we just... Um, just real small sample. Like, we were playing the thing where whenever you lose once, you're eliminated, and we lost our second match. 
No tail should be discarded. But I like the deck quite a bit. Oh yeah, Johnny's awesome. Yeah, Johnny is very good. I think I want to say Nissa. It's either Nissa or Nexus. Oh, mass manipulation. They have all four Nexus. Two Tamio, two Nissa, one Teferi. I said three, three total Tamio. One Teferi, one Krasis. Three reclamation. Um, so I can decline and play another card this turn, or I pay the four and then I can like take the blink. I guess I didn't check when I was looking at their deck. I forgot to check to see if they really had more. If they had more syncopates, more counter magic. So, yeah, in, I really didn't want this Lyra to be syncopated. So, in, in case that was another syncopate, I went shock shalai. Hey, what's up, Rex? Informant All right, come on, land drop. Are they minusing again? Looks like they're. No, metagame challenge is done. It was only a two-day thing. We I follow the tracks of the wise. Okay. Is over. Yeah, our opponent could have blinked in. Yeah, that was that was the thing that like if I if I do pay the four, our opponent probably does like blink 
after I pay the four still in response to the thought erasure. And then if they do that, then I just have no creature in play at all. And I didn't I didn't really want to have no creature in, in play at all. So that's why I um So I went ahead and didn't pay. All right, see what they got. See if they find a bunch of nexuses. Hopefully not. Omnath is pretty sweet here, though. Every time they play a land, they draw a card. I like. I'm liking where we're at. This Imperial Imperion Eagle Eagle has been pretty sweet, giving our creatures plus one plus one. I've liked it so far. Hey, hubba. Yeah, we got an early stream today. We got a 12 hour. We're half an hour in. Because we hit 20 sub goals since the start of M20. And we actually hit 21. We got to our, our 21st one yesterday, so we have one sub goal towards our next 12 hour stream right now as well. Attack. All right, got that first win. There we go, kicking the day off good. I like all like the different interaction stuff that we have in our sideboard. Whoa, we got the uncommon elemental cat. Yeah. And we got a pack. And we got a mastery tree thing. All right, we got one orb. Let's get this drawn from dreams. Yeah, I'm going to go drawn from dreams, then your rock. And then work towards green, I think with the shifting ceratops, because I want to go towards Omnath after that, and then red. Yeah. But first, drawn from dreams. That's a good one. All right, let's crack our pack. <laughs> Lotus Field, that's a pretty good one. Not a mythic, but we'll take it. Okay, and Okay, it's just going to be the elemental. It's just going to be the uncommon one. Okay. Yeah, but to get Omnath, you have to get all of the green and all of the red other ones, you know, like how the the tree works to be able to get Omnath. It's between the green and the red. So you have to finish out the green and finish out the red to get there. Oh, basic planes, why you kill me? Why you do this? This hand is awesome. If we could curve out Thought Erasure into Gideon slash Resplendent and go on. Um, I want to keep it so bad, but I don't think that we should. We can't cast anything right now. Okay, still a good hand. Still have Thought Erasure into these things. I don't know when we're going to get the full art basics. I can't wait, though. Look at our uncommon cat. 
Ooh, our cat looks sweet. So wizard retort. This isn't a wizard, is it? It is a wizard. Lame. All right, so we're gonna take the retort. Um. Do I want Gideon in this matchup? I mean, Tempest Gin, you know, is like the scary thing, right? We got to deal with Tempest Gin. So I'm gonna be playing like Resplendent Angel, then Imperion Eagle. And then it'd be like Gideon after that? No, I don't think so. I think let's look for another like flyer or interaction or something like that. Yeah, that Drakki Seth. Boo. That's alright. Well, there you go. To the Simplicity said we need Lyra here, and there's Lyra. Thanks there, Simplicity. That was really kind of you. Dude, look at how cool our cat is. What? Unsummon. Rude. Really hope they don't have another counterspell. By another, I mean A. Yay. <laughs> I know. Hawkeye's awesome. He's up in the other room sleeping on the bed right now. Yeah, yep. Um, yeah, Hawkeye was named after the Iowa Hawkeyes. Yeah. At least we're good against the Curious Obsession. All right, so dive down. Dive down means we can't attack. Because they get to double block, dive down, and attack. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm I went too, but, but yeah, I wouldn't want to go back and live there. I'm the same way. Too cold. Do not like cold weather. Hmm. So Resplendent Angel would trade with a Tempest Gin and a Dive Down. If they have a second Dive Down, that would be really bad. Thought about not casting anything, because, yeah, like, just the probability that them just sitting on counter spells here and maybe try to be able to play multiple things. Want to give them the, the chance first and just see. Okay, so now we know they got more counter spells. Probably want to hold stuff. All right, definitely holding that. Do you think they have like more than one dive down? I 
Like, if they only have the one dive down, I want to attack with Resplendent Angel. If they have more than one dive down... I mean, I guess they could have... They could have Trickster, though, also. Trickster would mess that up a whole lot. Borderin with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for the resub. Sub number two on the day. Yeah, this is a tough spot for us. I mean, we're just going to kind of sit back. Well... Do have trickster. They have another trickster, we die. But I feel like if they had another trickster, they would have just used that immediately. But they don't have another trickster. Yeah, that was not a good attack without another trickster. They shouldn't have attacked with the... the the Terramander, because, you know, I got to do that block since they, they attacked the Terramander. And then I get to just attack back at him and everything. They were impatient. All right, Veto. Duress. That's all we got. But the little creatures, I'm not that worried about. We don't want Cry the Cranarium. Let's see, we take out Gidgen. Take out Dispark. Take out Soren. All right, here we go. All right, still need to gain some life somehow. All right, looks like they got a great opener. Alright, maybe not that great. So they got two draw steps to find a counter spell. Really hope they don't. No, that's... Ugh, and they scry on top. That's bad for us. Ugh. 
Ooh, okay. Looks like that's going to resolve. The Spectral Sailors are just awesome, though, because they get to just sit back and draw cards every single turn with them, with the mana. Spectral Sailor is a really strong card. Yeah, Saladid, as you see, we have I have that on the docket. Uh, it's going to be up fourth. You can see the schedule here. We had a Legion's End. Just exile all these things. I guess maybe I should have Cry of the Carnarium in here. That's a bummer. I wanted to try to get two Spectral Sailors out of there so that I could use the Tyrant Scorn on the last one so they wouldn't be able to draw cards. That was the goal. Mm. Didn't draw a good flyer there. This would have been a perfect time for a good flyer. Yeah, and so that's why I made the attack is because of how strong these sailors are with the draw cards. I wanted to see if I could trade for two of them. But the trickster made it just one. Yeah, they're just gonna pull ahead now. This card's awesome. On resolve. No. Oh, wait. It resolves. We can pay four. Wow. Just not going to handle the Resplendent Angel, huh? All right. Resplendent Angel. So, yeah, basically what they were thinking there, I mean, <clears throat> we saw them have Unsummon before. I would think they would just draw a card, see if they draw Unsummon or something, but... You know, like the next turn I get to activate my Resplendent Angel, get to gain enough, you know, gain enough life to make another angel. And kind of go from there. I don't really know of a misplay they had that game. Unless, like, if you're counting the fact that I could pay for a misplay. I mean, they probably, like, that was, like, their counterspell and they just were hoping that I didn't pay. GG's Eastwall. 
GG's. Eagle. We want the Resplendent Angels in the late game here because we want to be able to like uh, play them, especially after Shalai and everything. Like this is not a card that we want to get Lightning Strike. We want to see if they can get rid of their Lightning Strikes first on other things before the Angels. Yeah, if only Bishop gave us five life for a Splendid Angel. Um, yeah, Sandbox. Yeah, I think you can play Grixis without Nicol Bolas the Ravager. You can just be more control heavy. It's all because we have the cool cat. All right, dude, just need to draw land, play Dawnbringer. What you need to do is just draw the land. Yeah, Salad, it's just, we're just playing fun decks today. That's that's really all, all that is. There's, there's nothing special. Uh, we're just doing a 12-hour stream, though. But uh, we're playing each deck through the competitive constructive, constructed league where you play until you either win five or lose two. So we're hoping to get a bunch of five-win leagues. Good. Didn't have a second Wizard's Lightning. No... I'll make it harder for them to kill Shalai, just a little bit harder by playing the Imperion Eagle. I'm not planning on blocking with the Shalai, right? Like I don't want to, I don't want to like block something and just have one burn spell kill Shalai. I'm going to make them use two burn spells on it. The Eagle can block pretty easily here. Only dies to a Chain Whirler with blocking, because they can't, you know, they can't use the burn spell on the Eagle. No, the competitive metagame challenge was just a two-day thing, Friday, Saturday. It's not an event anymore. Just draw our land. If we would have drawn the land, this game this game probably was over. If we would have drawn land last turn. Oh, that is awesome for us. Chandra is not a good card to be playing right now. In the face of Shalai. Um... Just get a resplendent angel out here. Leave back a couple blockers. Because Shalai, of course, just kills Chandra. Um, Chandra has to, whenever it's dealt damaged, she deals that much damage to an opponent or a planeswalker, but you can't target this opponent. So the only so it has to target a planeswalker, and the only planeswalker on the battlefield, of course, is Chandra. What's up, Alder2? Thank you so much for the resub there. I am doing very well. And yeah, we got some nice angel action here. I've been really liking this deck so far. This has been a good one. No, yeah. I I like the eagle a lot more than angel of vitality. You know, this is a donation deck, so you know I didn't make put the cards together with this one, but 
we played Angel of Vitality in a different um, a different donation deck before, and I was really not impressed with the card. While obviously like the perfect curve of Bishop into Angel of Vitality gives you the the five life, like with Resplendent Angel, that that kind of stuff just doesn't happen very often and or often at all. And it's just it was just a two two flyer way too often. This being a two three that pumps the other flyers is a lot a lot better in my opinion. Hmm. Again, we can only play one spell. So this is just a 1-3 flyer. We don't really I'm not really worried about this because they can't deal me non-combat damage. So it's it's between Thought Erasure just or getting another angel out here or having the Gideon. I think I'm gonna get another angel out here. We'll draw a land eventually. So yeah, lethal either way, playing Lyra. I mean, obviously, we, we didn't even have to kill that thing. We just had lethal just attacking. But might as well see what their last card in hand was. So their risk factor deck. So they couldn't cast risk factor at all. So that Shalai really shut them down. All right, Devout Decree. That is pretty good. Kind of like Dovid's Vetoes here. Dovin's Vetoes can, you know, we play our Angel and protect it with a Veto. Um, I don't want Gideon. I'm going to take out Rally of Wings with having the Vetoes. I don't know if I want that many of that kind of effect. <laughs> Dovin's DeVito. Yeah, it's true. I guess Rally Wings is better against Fry. Yeah, maybe Cry the Carnarium. Are there any of these cards that are worse than Cry the Carnarium? Maybe just Thought Erasure, like, against the red deck, they empty their hand pretty fast. Maybe we just don't want to be playing Thought Erasure. And then that gives us some Cries and a Rally. You can see that. Even though if they are, you know, on Lava Coil, Fight with Fire plan, Thought Erasure is better because they have to wait on those cards until we play stuff. Blue Kitty.
And are we gonna try to just cry the carnarium them? I think so. Yay. Certainly a greedy line there, but it worked out. Go scorn. I know it uses my mana the worst, but if I go like Sarah for the skills, we trade. We would have just traded Seraph straight up for the Spitfire. Works pretty well. It's a good draw. Blocking Chain Whirler is, is pretty pretty tough, so getting another Scorn for it. I like it. Good draw. like all this good removal in the Angel deck. The Aerialist has probably been my least favorite card so far, but I can certainly see the times where it gets out of hand. Bum, 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 bum. Zappa! Let's get some hype in the channel for our new subscriber. Thank you so much, Zappa. I appreciate that. Hey, JR. Love it. You and I are gonna take him out. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. Gotta love Shaliva or Chandra. Hit for one. That all you got? Oh, you deal one to yourself. Back to Chandra. Stop hitting yourself. Stop this hitting yourself. Of my time. Okay. Oh, that's mean. No, the coil. Ooh. Um. I don't know, poor Chandra. Alright, so we'll play Seraph. This is where Bloodthirsty Aerialist is really nice now. Gain 8 life. Make it a 4 5 flyer. Don't think my opponent's racing this. Little Chandra. Little Chandra recast coil. Hey, don't start any fires without me. Chandra's revenge. Yeah, I like to 
didn't think on my feet. Yeah, this deck has felt pretty good so far. Liked it. But I guess we've been playing against like the aggro decks, which is really what this kind of deck wants to be playing against in the first place. I'll just attack that little Chandra, so we'll just you know set up next turn. We don't really need a 6-7. By playing the Seraph to attack that Chandra. Honestly, I probably just don't even need to attack that Chandra. Alright. Y'all block there, you block there. I can also just not block. It's an option. Alright, that's fine. We'll trade it. one of our Bishop of Wings for two of their spells, I suppose. But yeah, we are going to be gaining a lot of life. I could just not block. Boom. Alright, and we are 3-0. and oh. On our way. To that 5-win dream. Let's get some more XP. Yay, we got the Ember Cat. All the cats today. Where are we at? So what do we got? So we just got an Ember Cat? Cool. Good old Sunday. Sunday's the day of lots of XP. The level up Sundays now with the resetting to be weekly. Ugh. Yeah, this possibly could be a good best of one deck. Yeah, I bet so. The control decks are going to be what you're going to struggle with the most, but yeah, I bet this would be a pretty decent best of one deck. Yeah, we got removal. We got hand disruption. We have good things against aggro. Hmm. This is a this is a pretty good hand against control with Thought Erasure, Gideon, Seraph. This is a good hand against control. Um, I w I would be keeping this for sure if we had a shock land. We'll just keep it anyway. But without a shock land, this is kind of rough. Not a very good hand against ramp. Admittedly. That's a great looking hand from our opponent. I think we can beat it though. See if they draw removal for Lyra. Or not. Yeah, of course I've had. Yeah, that's what we're playing right now is best of three. Tough blocking. I mean, if they attack with Spellbreaker and Phoenix, I'm just taking it. This looks like my opponent's playing 
the, looks like the opponent's playing my Gruul deck. No, I, I like getting the 4 4 Spellbreaker. I think that was definitely reasonable. They do not have a good attack. All right, they figured that out. Let me lead the charge into darkness. I believe in you. All right, so I'm giving the Seraph of the Scales Indestructible and Vigilance. We can just gain five life. Trigger this Bloodthirsty Aerialist. Next turn, we'll drop the Double Bishop. That was a perfect block from the opponent. No reason to block any different. take us a little bit of time to get through this, but I definitely like where we're at. Ooh. Believe in you, friend. That thought erasure for the Vivian was so clutch. Like if if our opponent had that Vivian, we'd be very dead. But the fact that we got to take that Vivian. We draw a Splendid Angel. This would kind of be over, but there we go. All right. Let's get this Devout Decree in for the Phoenixes. Um, Noxious Grasp was good against Vivian. Hmm. So this would kill... Vivian Nissa. Yeah, kills Vivian Nissa. I mean, Spellbreaker. Like the other, the green creatures we don't really need to kill, but Vivian Nissa killing those is really nice. <laughs> Alright, Gideon out. I don't know, is Noxious Grasp better than Rally of Wings? Better than Soren? I think Noxious Grasp, Rally of Wings, Soren, and maybe Empyreon Eagle. I think those are my least favorite cards. Play the one rally and one grasp. Go down to three eagle. 
three equal. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah, I could see us playing a Tamik. I don't know. That's that's still just pretty narrow. Well, Tamik is good. At, you know, Tamik's obviously good against Nissa, but I don't know if. I don't know exactly where one Tamik would fit in, but maybe, maybe one Tamik would fit in somewhere. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we'd want to play more than one. But probably don't need it. This is our first time drawing the Rally of Wings. I could see one Tamik over one of the two Rally of Wings, maybe. Maybe that's a spot for it. Not super scared of the Spellbreaker. I'll wait just a little bit before using the Decree, because de the best target for the Decree is uh, the Phoenix. So let's see if they have Phoenix. So these things can go over the top of Spellbreaker. You know, like, th sure, this thing hits us for four, but we just play an angel, we gain four. If I had if I had another land in hand and I knew I was gonna have another land, I'd be devout decreeing here and then next turn playing Resplendent Angel with the Rally of Wings protection. For for a lava coil. I do kind of feel like my opponent has a lava coil, how they thought for a while about killing the bishop. And I don't know about playing Resplendent Angel into a Lava Coil. This Devout Decree does get to scry one though also. Let's go let's go ahead and do it. Get this scry one in here. Yeah, Poreo B, whenever the next set is released, which we don't know the exact date of that yet, that's when the rotation will happen, and that's most likely the end of September, maybe the beginning of October. It's right around that time. If I had to guess, I would say, like, you know, like the 25th of September, you know, like somewhere in, like, the mid-20s of September would be my guess. So, basically two months. Uh... Hmm. That ambush. Right. I forgot. My deck plays ambush, not coil. Ambush makes this trickier. Another ambush, and we are very dead. And we just need to draw land. Okay. We're still in it. Another ambush, we're still dead. I suppose. 
That's a good sign. All we need to do is untap. No ambush this turn. Give us a turn. Yay. Alright, now... We will swing in with... Lyra. And we got this from here. Yeah, I'm glad we have Rally of Wings in our deck too. Keeping us safe. Poor opponent, they flooded out. Ugh. Okay. Get out of my way. I'm burning up here. Don't think that helps them. All right, we got another pack. Cause all this XP. Let's crack it open. See if we got a mythic. Nah, no mythic. Close to another mythic wild card though. All right, five win dream still alive. We are four and zero, oh. so that means we are on to the final boss. Oh man, love me some Steely Dan, but we gotta go over to our final boss playlist. Here we go. <laughs> Chandra was BMing her own player with the bye bye. Aww. There you go, King J. Yeah, this one's been really good. I like this quite a bit. We have done a good job of drawing Lyra Dawnbringers. And there's only two Lyra Dawnbringers in the deck, so we've been pretty fortunate with that. This mono is it mono blue final boss? Not mono blue. Looks like we got some Drakes. Drak Drakaruses. Dive down, discovery, enigma drake. Phospholite! Thanks for that sub there. Because I like your style a lot, calm and focused. Well, I like your style a lot as well. Thanks, Phospholite. Okay, uh, I don't really care about dive down. It's either discovery or enigma drake. Enigma drake's just a 2-4. Doesn't seem that difficult to beat. I kind of want to just take Discovery. Yeah, I'm going to do that.
yeah, Tzar, those are those are definitely decks that are safe to craft. Team Elemental, Simic, Simic Flash, those are some good ones. Good old Thought Erasure Curse. They just keep them both on top? Yeah, they just kept them both on top. It's lucky. Uh, probably not. Like, we, you know, we don't we don't know what's going to be in the next set, of course, but I would not expect there to be a lot of vampires and have vampires stay around kind of thing. But it's possible they do. I just... I said I just wouldn't really expect it. Double dive down. All right, we're down to 12. Maybe I should be keeping that eagle. I kind of forgot about afterlife. I knew that we were going to be getting the spirit from the bishop, but I kind of forgot about afterlife. Maybe I should have kept that other eagle. I mean, I do just want another land, though. I want to be able to double spell. Okay, we got our other land. So do I want to go eagle rally? Or do I want to go Seraph with Death Touch? I think I'm going to go Seraph with Death Touch first. Yeah, Dive Down would not have saved my opponent's creature. They didn't Dive Down because the Seraph gains Death Touch, so if they Dive Down, it's just wasting it's just wasting the, the Dive Down because even if they have like the, the more toughness, we can go with the Death Touch there. More tokens. I'm going to let one of my tokens die here to do 10 damage. I 
or do a lot of damage. I guess I can just play this thing and do 20. I guess that thing does kill people really quickly. I guess I could have even just gone dub route, double rally. All right, devout decree. Exile some drakes. Um. Hmm. No Gideon like normal. Basically, we're just playing against like a bunch of creature decks, and I don't really want Gideon in the creature matchups because Gideon's very easy to attack when we are, whenever we get behind, which we kind of start behind in all of these matchups. Question is if I want duress or veto. Rally of Wings looked awesome there. The Seraph Bishop of the Wings combo with Rally. That was that was awesome. Yeah, we already have the fourth auto erasure, so do we need a more hand disruption? Maybe not. I think I would rather have Veto than Duress, I think. I'm not sure if we really need either one, though. Do we really need Bishop of Wings in this matchup? No, we don't. Get a Duress and some Vetoes in instead. Yeah, we'll do that. No, I don't think Angelic Visitation would be too helpful in the deck. It's the kind of card, like, it is a, you know, it is a strong card at times, but it's a card that doesn't do anything on its own, which I guess is like Rally of Wings, but the thing is, is Rally of Wings, like, protects, you know, you get to use that as, like, a protection spell. Where Angelic Visitation just doesn't, isn't really like a protection spell or anything. Like you can't, doesn't do anything on its own. So while I can Dispark Crackling Drake, I kind of want to take it because Crackling Drake trades with our Dispark and draws them a card. Where the other is like, you know, like, sure, this counter is something good. And this counter is like Lyra probably. And this does something and this does something. I mean, it's definitely not Terramander or Enigma Drake. We can We can deal with that easily. It's... Do we want to take the thing that counters Lyra or take this thing that's like big and trades with our spell and draws a card? So it's basically what I rather trade with like to spark draw a card or Lyra. And I guess I guess Lyra is better. Maybe I should take this then. Yeah, counter is still just one for one, but Lyra is worth more than one card, considering the lifelink it gives and everything. It really is worth more than a card. Oh, well, I guess I ran out of time. We need to draw white mana. Let's 
That Shalai was not white mana. White mana. Um. Hmm. These are mana well. So that's ten. Can't block a Terramander because they get to grow it. Well, if they drew a counterspell, I'm in trouble. Kind of if they drew anything, I'm in trouble. Hey, what's up, Storm? Yeah, we're getting our 12-hour stream. It started off really well. We we're already 4-0. And we're up a game, even though we're not looking so great here. But we're not looking the worst. Okay, good. Just basically made the battlefield a little safer before playing Lyra. I guess if they just had removal spell there for Lyra, I would have just died. The removal spell pumps up the Enigma Drake to 5 power. Oh wait, they can't have a removal spell for Liar. We have Shalai. Sweet. It's good deck building. Hmm. If only we had triple white source for Resplendent Rally. Get Resplendent in first. Ooh, no blocks. All right, I think we got this. We got our army of angels. They better not have rivers or buke. I think this is ours. Oh, yeah, that's true. River's Rebuke has to target the player, so that wouldn't have worked because we have Shalai. Wow, we just have everything covered. I guess I just pass. 
It means Resplendent Angel dies and both of theirs and all three of theirs die. We'll let them spend mana first. See what they're doing. All right, they do that thing. I'll do this thing. Except for creatures you control with flying. Okay, let's see what happens here. Okay. So I'll let Shalai and Enigma Drake die. Or like, I'll, I'll let, Sh sorry, Shalai and this angel. I keep resplendent and Lyra. And we attack for the win. And that's a 5 0. -oh. Get even more XP. Claim this prize. Some rares we already had. Esper Flyers. That was a sweet one. So we did not play against a deck that was playing sweepers, which is what it, you know, what we'd be mostly concerned about with playing the angel kind of deck. However, we do have a lot of good tools against those decks with sweepers anyway, considering we're playing fourth auto Rager in the main, three duress in the sideboard. We have the Gideons also. We have like some pretty good stuff against removal heavy decks. Anyway, um, yeah, this worked out really well. I could see a little bit more in the sideboard, though, against control matchups. Like, maybe, like, two Devout Decree and two Cry of the Carnarium. Maybe that's a little bit overkill there for, like, some anti-red stuff, to be honest. And, you know, like, the Noxious Grasp. Like, maybe that's, maybe all that. I mean, we have Dovin's Vetoes, though, also. But I, I would, you know, as we talked about before, like, maybe we could play some some Teferis in here, like, especially, I mean, really big Teferi. You know, something that, some card advantage engine that's just consistently giving you cards over and over. I could see playing, like, two big Teferi over probably, like, one of the Cry of the Carnariums. I'm not sure if we really need two of those. Like, one Cry, one Devout Decree. Play two big Teferi instead of those. Um... Because it's good to still have, like, I don't think I'd want to cut all the Cry of the Canariums. It's a, it's a really solid card in, like, against vampires and gets other other decks. But, yeah, maybe getting rid of one of each of those for two big Teferis for, like, if for playing against, like, Esper Control type stuff. As far as the main deck art goes, I liked everything in here. I, I did like having, like, the, the Sparks. The Tyrant Scorns were very good. The Bloodthirsty Aerialist is probably my least favorite card in the main deck. Um... I guess we didn't really do too much with Gideon main, but Gideon helps out your tough matchups that we didn't really face. But honestly, I still like the Aerialist. Even though I'm saying it's like my least favorite, I mean, I still liked it. It was still pretty good. It works It works well with the Eagle growing it. And like whenever you start growing your Aerialist with other things, it's really hard for aggro decks to beat that card. So I don't I don't mind it at all. It, you know, helps you double spell and everything. You know, I don't I don't mind it at all. Um, no, I, I like... I like uh, the Aerialist more than Storm Tamer. Uh, if you want to go with a cheaper flyer, I would play the the Flash Flyer that could draw cards. Like maybe you could play like one or two of those. Um, that's a another. We'll go back to the normal playlist. That's an another cheap flyer that is just really good. Kind of all the time.
But yeah, aerialist is good. Um, I don't. I think favorable wins is much worse than rally of wings. I don't. I don't think favorable wins is is worth a slot, basically. Um, but there we go. Pretty awesome donation deck here. I liked this one. I'm gonna put this on the favorites. This one played out very well. It's a good one. All right, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if so, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate that. But that's it here for Esper Flyers. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.